Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today is the day that we're getting rid of our radon problem, or at least doing the first step uh, of the process. Uh, these guys uh, came from the same company that did all the landscaping here. Uh, one of the few contractors that I actually really like. These guys are really have been really awesome. It's a great uh, family business, and they've never let me down. So they are going to be coring a five-inch hole through the side of the foundation. There is four inches of foam, and then ten inches of foundation that they're going to go through. And uh, hopefully, if my memory serves properly, uh, there's going to be more of this gravel on the other side and we're going to be able to vent the radon out through the gravel. If you don't recall, the gravel is actually one of the main culprits creating the radon underneath the, <laughs> underneath the house, which is uh, thoroughly ironic, but you know, you just, we're just going to deal with it. Um, this process, how long is this going to take, guys? To core drill this? Yeah. Uh, probably uh, like 10 uh, hours? 15, 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so only 15 or 20 minutes. And uh, we were talking earlier that this foundation is still considered green, which is kind of young uh, because it's still hardening. I guess it's not, we were saying maybe 10 years until the foundations really hit their full strength. So these guys are working on this outside, and I'm going to show you what I'm working on inside in the nice warm house. Well, you guys, uh, you guys are out in the rain. You know, one of the uh, things that I've been trying to do uh, while they are working so that I'm available to them if they have any questions, and, and there have been questions that have come up, is I'm trying to uh, find work that I can do that is um, stuff I can, I can just jump away from, um, which means not painting work, not stuff where I'm all the way up on the third floor or anything like that. And what I came up with is uh, this right here. I shall put you guys down right in this area. Uh, and this is what I'm working on right now. If I can make you guys, eh, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to try to straighten the camera, but who cares? Uh, uh, this is going to be the railing that uh, goes right here. We have to add railings. We have these, but these don't qualify as railings. Railings, uh, at least in this area, uh, are only considered railings if they are one and a half to two inches uh, in diameter. Uh, they are round, and uh, they are a specific height off the tip of the stairs. I forget what it is, like 36 to 40-something inches or something like that. I don't quote me on that. And even if you did, the regulations keep changing, so who knows what they'd be when you watch this. Um, so uh, we're uh, using a tree for that. A um, couple of reasons for that. One is that it's free. It was out in the woods. I was able to get it. Also, uh, I kind of like it. I think it uh, adds a bit of sort of rustic character to the house. Uh, it makes a, a surface that's not completely smooth and uniform the entire way up. I feel like when you're stuck inside the house for like a whole winter, um, I like to have a little bit of organic feel to things. Like if there's like some bumps for your feet to go over, you know, that's what the greenhouses are for. And, you know, or, you know kind of organic feeling stuff you can get your hands on to, um, I don't know, just it feels psychologically kind of nice to have that kind of element brought into your indoor environment. The type of tree that we're using for this, and it explains why River's smelling it, is black birch, which is one of my favorite trees, and it's, uh, it smells like uh, birch beer, root beer, all in here while I'm doing the shaving, so it's a little bit of a treat while I'm doing it. Uh, the tools that I'm using is a kukri machete, um, where I'm just taking it, I'm actually sitting on it, but for this, uh, I will not sit on it, and I'm just kind of shaving along and uh, getting the bark off that way. Uh, once I get it down uh, rough, uh, to the uh, size I want. I'm going to use this rasp to get uh, the rest of the way down. Then I have to let it completely dry, though not too fast because the, the tree can get split in it. Uh, and then I'm going to use sandpaper to do the rest. So that's my day today. That's it. Thanks for watching.